Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat, you can create interactive forms in a number of different ways. Forms can be created from scratch or forms can be created from documents made in other software applications. Acrobat even lets you create interactive forms from scanned paper documents or photographs containing text. Electronic forms are used in the same way traditional paper forms are used. A person fills information into the form, the form is submitted, and the recipient collects the information. Interactive PDF forms have several advantages over paper forms and HTML forms. For example, PDF forms can be sent as email attachments, which saves time. And unlike HTML forms, PDF forms can be downloaded and saved. This is an advantage if the form is very long or if the person filling out the form wants to work offline. To create an interactive form from an existing PDF document, first open the PDF in Acrobat. Next, click the Prepare Form tool found in the Forms and Signatures tool group in the Tool Center. By default, the tool also appears within the Tools pane, so you can access it in the Document view if the panel is expanded. When you select the Prepare Forms tool, Acrobat displays the Prepare Form view, which instructs you to select a file or scan a document to begin. If you have a PDF document already opened in Acrobat, the software selects that file for conversion. If not, then use the Select a File link just below the document area to find and open a document to convert. You can also click the Change File link that appears if you have a document selected to change the PDF you want to convert into a form. You'll also notice the Scan a Document feature which lets you use your computer scanner to create an interactive PDF form from a paper form. Below the link, you'll see a checkbox marked This Document Requires Signatures. Checking this box lets you automatically add an electronic signature field to your interactive PDF form. To create a form from the selected PDF, click the Start button. Acrobat converts the currently opened PDF into a form and displays the form editing screen. You will see the Forms pane appear in the Task pane. There are several panels used to customize forms within the Forms pane. At the top of the pane, for example, you will find tools related to aligning and centering elements in forms. In the Fields panel, you will see each form field identified. At the bottom of the pane, you'll see the Send for Signature button or Distribute and Tracking options. Acrobat's Form Editing view also provides a Forms toolbar just above the main document window. The toolbar includes all of the following, a selection tool, tools for adding text fields, checkboxes, and radio buttons to forms, tools for adding drop-down lists and signature blocks, and tools for creating a variety of other types of form fields. You'll notice a button marked Preview at the far right end of the toolbar. The Preview button lets you test the form. In Preview mode, you can fill text fields and click radio buttons and checkboxes. Click the Edit button at the far right end of the toolbar to exit Preview mode and return to the form editing screen. In the main document window, you will see the newly converted PDF. In a broad sense, Acrobat's conversion process makes educated guesses about how to convert a static document into an interactive form. Most of the time, the software guesses correctly. Sometimes, however, Acrobat makes a mistake during the conversion process. When this happens, you can then use the tools found in the Forms Toolbar and the Forms Pane to edit the form. The next lessons in this chapter will examine the tools and features found within the Forms Pane and the Forms Toolbar when using form editing features in Acrobat. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.